We have three wire coils arranged vertically and given three phase power as U, V, W from this variable frequency device. And we put a 60 millimeter disc magnet in the middle. Let's turn on the power and you can see it spin and rise up with wobbling. 10 hertz. 20 hertz. See it goes right up. Now let's try another way of doing the same experiment. We have three coils, U, V, W, wired up to a variable frequency device. And down here, we have the magnet that's going to wobble 60 millimeter here. And we're just holding it up with another little 50 millimeter magnet there. So it doesn't fall down to get it in the right position. We turn on the three phase power. It starts spinning. And if it was magnetic repulsion, pushing it up that way in the other orientation, we would expect this magnet to go down as it spins. Instead, it rises like a top. As it gets spin angular momentum. as it gains spin angular momentum, it rises up. It hits the top of the thing. So if this were UFO, that magnet rising up and hitting that thing would make the whole thing lift up. We can still get a top rising motion with no magnet below, but we have to lift it up to start. When there's a magnet below, we get a frictionless lift, and it's more elegant. Next, we're going to do the same experiment with a little variation. Have three wire coils, three-phase UVW, from a three-phase variable frequency device. This time, our test magnet will be 60 millimeters, but there's a big hole in the middle, so it can wobble more away from the axis like a top. Below, we have a little 40 millimeter magnet, just holding it up by repulsion. Now when we turn on the spin power, it starts wobbling, and you can see that at very low RPM it lifts up. So letting this magnet wobble, enhances the upward rising effect which could be useful for UFO levitation. So let's continue. Three wire coils UVW with the three phase variable frequency device. Down here I've got a 70 millimeter magnet with about a 10 millimeter hole in the middle so it can wobble a bit. Below it I've put a 50 millimeter magnet just to hold it in place by magnetic repulsion. As we add the three phase power, it begins to wobble. And then at fairly low frequency, it rises way up. I don't want to go any further, it might break the machine. This would provide a lot of upward thrust for a UFO levitation. We spread out the wire coils UVW 
so there's really would be space for a 60 millimeter magnet to rise straight up to the center there. Three phase variable frequency device. We have a 60 millimeter magnet which can wobble with a 40 millimeter magnet just holding it up by repulsion below. Will it still rise with the coil separated? So in principle, that 60 millimeter magnet could rise straight up through a hole made by the, the three coils. Finally, let us remind everyone that the 60 millimeter magnet can rise even further straight up if we put it on the top. We have three coils UVW, variable frequency device. We've separated the coils enough so the 60 millimeter magnet can wobble around on top. And now we have absolutely nothing below, just empty space. You remember it rose up from below. Now when we turn on the three phase power here, it again wobbles. And as we increase the three phase frequency, it again rises up. So in summary, what we have learned today is this is not magnetic repulsion, this is a top rising motion. It will rise from the bottom, it will also rise from the top. That's how a top rises and not magnets repelling one another. And this might be the fundamental basis behind all UFO levitation.